haven't seen each other in years. They would go, ah! <laughs> Donna, you know it's really embarrassing doing it to the wrong person. Do you ever do that? You go, ah! <laughs> it's so embarrassing. You know it's really embarrassing forgetting a person's name. Do you ever meet somebody for like two seconds and then you can't remember their name? And then somebody comes along and you have to introduce them. Don't you want to die? So I came out with something great. I met this guy last week, and I said, you know, you have the most fabulous name in the world. How do you spell it? <laughs> and he said, B-O-B, -B, bitch, okay? Look <laughs> at this crowd. Everybody's so cute. This is like, you know, young boys over there, just call me Mrs. Robinson. I'm excited. And look at the girls. They're so pretty, these girls, and they're smiling at me. Isn't that neat? Because usually women always look at each other like they're smelling onions, don't they? <laughs> Were you girls like, that is not her real hair color. No way. <laughs> Were you doing that to me? Because I was doing that to you. You know, you just came home. <laughs> it's true. Oh, come on. When my natural hair comes out, my roots can come down to my ears, okay? And some woman will always come over to me and go, is that your real hair color? <laughs> yeah, lady, I'm half skunk, okay? Get out of my face. You don't think women are catty. Did you ever sit in your living room with five women watching the Miss America contest? Did you ever do that? <laughs> oh, you don't have a chance. You're sitting there with five of your girlfriends who look like Dom DeLuise. Am I right? <laughs> Hair growing out of their faces, you know? Watching these beautiful contestants, and we're acting like we're watching The Wild Kingdom. We're like, oh my God! Oh, oh look at this pig. What if they have to shoot it with a tranquilizer dart to get her into that bathing suit, huh? pounds, I could be in that contest. <laughs> and you never want to ask your girlfriend for an opinion on how you look. Is that true, girl? Like, because you know they're just dying to give it to you. It's like, Kathy, do you think I'm gaining weight? <laughs> Gee, I don't know. Are those pants supposed to be pleated? <laughs> but you really shouldn't be worried about your complexion until your... <laughs> Excuse me. You shouldn't be worried about your weight until your complexion clears up. <laughs> Bitch, let me break your nose job. Come here. What is this, your fifth one? Speaking of nose jobs, we live in Los Angeles. Is this not cosmetic surgery city of the world? Come on. It's like people have so much plastic surgery, you can throw a Tupperware party underneath their faces. Isn't it true? <laughs> Do you guys ever had a friend who had a really bad nose job? You ever see these nose jobs where they spend $50,000 where you can actually see their brains? You ever see these? <laughs> My friend had one of those nose jobs, and she was so happy about it. So she comes to me for support, and she's like, so, what do you think? <laughs> Am I gorgeous or what? You know, the doctor says there'll be no side effects. Mm. Mm. So far, so good. So, can you see my inner beauty? Yanni, yeah, tilt your head up a little bit more. I think I can see Amtrak, okay? <laughs> So I said, the studs are here tonight. Hi, guys. Hi, little studs. What's your name? Carlos. Do you work out, Carlos? <laughs> I didn't think you did. <laughs> I <know. laughs> little men. Are you one of these guys, Carlos, like whenever a woman touches your arm, you suddenly become flex man. Do you do that? <laughs> All men do this, don't they? Even if they look like Gandhi, they got to flex that arm. Isn't this the truth? The guy the time is like, excuse me, sir. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, can you tell me the time? Why, sure, little lady. <whistles> hey, your name is little lady, isn't it? Whoa! Let's see if I can get it over. <laughs> oh, it's a digital. Gotta hold it up to the light. <laughs> Six fifteen. I've been out all day. Hey, is my back sunburnt? Women are working out. Isn't that great, girls? Running around looking like little men. I think that is so cute. I love that. I love that. So, Carlos, do you like when I talk low like that? Oh, it turns men on. Don't ask me why. It is, like, so mental that men love this. It's like, no matter what you say, it's sexy. It's like, honey, I have to go to the bathroom right now. I gotta go vomit. I'll be right back. Because <laughs> men, men hate women with giggly voices. You know, sometimes you go out with a guy for the first time, and your voice gets, like, ten octaves higher, and you sound like a flipper woman. You know what I mean? <laughs> And you're like, <laughs> thank you, good night.